What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all well and healthy, my name is Paul and I am the resident horror buff here at Forbidden Planet. So, as you can probably imagine, I do love horror comics as well, and this past month has been more than kind with horror comics. So, today, in absolutely no order, because I don't like picking favourites, I want to talk about some of the comics that I have enjoyed reading over the last month. Also, just to touch, I will not be speaking about the story as much, if that makes sense. I, I want to keep this as spoiler free as possible. So, I hope you're ready for me to go on one of my tangents of how much I love certain things. So, here we go, in no particular order. Okay, so the first one I'm going to bring up is Red Room. So I'm going to start off my list with this... Well, I can only... I'll call it a diamond, an absolute diamond of a comic. Think Hostel meets the second Unfriended, or, or any type of dark web movie or TV show you've ever seen. Uh, the art, it's grotesque and it's sublime at the same time. So, what have we got story-wise that I can say that isn't spoilery? It's like having a splatter horror on your hands with, with quite the, the cyberpunk horror kind of got, <sighs> trying to keep this as PG as possible as well, but it's a bit difficult with a comic like Red Room. <sighs> Let's just say unspeakable things, meet live chat, meet cryptocurrency, you know, gore, gore in every direction. But like, don't be put off by the amount of gore or the amount of unnatural things that you'll be you'll be seeing in the art. The story itself is is really good. The the main character well I suppose you can't really call her the main character. There's a there's a character in it that just screams horror. She's she's great. You'll know exactly who she is when you read it. So I'm gonna move on. And the second one on my list is, of course, last week's Conjuring. So, The Conjuring, The Lover. <laughs> if you're returning from last Friday's video, you'd have seen me go on and on about how much I love the franchise. But I'll be honest, when the comic was first announced, I was quite worried. You know, because The Conjuring has this kind of... I can only explain it as Conjuring-like suspense. You know, like, like how you... How you feel when you're watching a Conjuring movie, you you know something's about to happen because like the hair on your arms will stand up and you'll feel spider legs scurry across your back, and then sometimes nothing happens or sometimes boom, there's there's a jump scare. But like only movies like The Conjuring and and Insidious pull that off well. It's like in fact let's call it James Wan suspense. That that'd be a bit easier. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm digressing. The comic was great. The comic really captured the universe. The story was really good. The art, it, it really complemented the story. Um, there, there was there was like a panel, I think it's quite close to the end, where if we were watching this, if The Conjuring the Lover was the newest movie, that scene, we would have jumped about a mile out of our seat. Like, genuinely. Um, in closing with the lover, there was a there was a short story at the end of it that that had you know the ferryman character, you know the, the, the river sticks that involved. I don't know how many is how many of you are familiar with the, the put of coins on the dead's eyes, so as they can tip the ferryman when he takes him across the river sticks. It, a lot of there's a lot of different like myths and rhymes and reasons behind that. Obviously the real reason was back in the days was, was to keep the eyelids closed, as morbid as that sounds, but people people obviously started putting their own take on why the coins were there. I'm so sorry I'm digressing again. Anyway, when I say the short story was incredible, I genuinely don't feel like I'm doing it any justice. Like, it was that good. It was like a myth has caused a life of misery for our main character, but then it turns out it's not a myth, and... Well, if I say anything else, that could be classed as a spoiler. 
but the ferryman story at the end of The Lover would make an incredible movie. Okay, and moving on to the next part of the list, we have The Nice House on the Lake. Way to knock it out the park. Like, that was one way to start a story. I, I was genuinely about halfway through the first issue, and I was like, I figured it out. And I was that sure I had figured it out. Like, I started subconsciously writing my own story in my head. I was like, oh, where would I go from here? And oh, this character might do this, and this character's gonna do that. And like, I was building all these scenarios in my mind's eye, and I was wrong. <laughs> that is that is not how they ended the first issue. I did not see the ending of the first issue coming. Uh, the artwork, genuinely, should be on exhibition. Incredible work. Like, if I was to walk into an art exhibition, that's the type of stuff that I would like to see on the wall. It was, it was perfect. Um, I love the idea in this story. There's, 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 this isn't much of a spoiler. You'll know this when you read it. But there's nicknames and there's little symbols used throughout the comic, and they were, they were a nice wee touch. Okay, so the next one is actually from this, this week. You know, uh, today it was released. The Bunny Mask. Now, I've had my eye on this one. I knew it was coming. It looked great. It sounded great, I should say. Um, the cover looked incredible. It's got, you know, it's got like, this girl in a bunny mask with like horribly broken teeth, and it just grabbed me. You know, it, I knew I was going to read this. I knew I was going to enjoy it. But what I will say is, I don't want to play like play favourites, but when it comes to pages that I really liked. This book had two pages. Page one and whichever number the final page was are both utterly terrifying and like nausea inducing. But the most important thing is they were very attention grabbing. Like that first page made me want to finish the story. That last page made me desperate for issue two. The, the story as well, the story went in so many directions and although that could be seen as a bad thing you know that could be seen like as a, as a messed up plot it really worked for bunny mask because it pulled it off in such a way that when the story was winding you were winding with it if that makes sense like one minute i was sitting there going oh schizophrenia the next minute i was like wait a minute is this paranormal and it was like like the snappier finger i felt that way you know and it, it's definitely going to grab a few eyes, this comic, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for the bunny mask. And just to close up my list, um, I'm going to throw in some honourable mentions at the end, but I probably won't talk over them um, as such. But to close up my list, I'm going to bring up the Blackjack Demon. Now, I'm going to say this was one very happy accident because I stumbled across this. like. As you can tell, you know, I, I do talk a lot about how much I love horror. I do talk a lot in general, but I love horror. Especially supernatural horror, you know, like I love ghosts, I love demons. The whole idea of that is, that's horror for me. That's, I like to imagine that life, of, you know, if that makes sense. Like, the horror means so much to so many different people. Um, but I love it when supernatural makes a really good story. So, like, when I read... Old American West. I was like, right, okay, this is interesting. It's, it's a demon in the title. It's about Old American West. And then when I read the plot, and it throws in the word demon, and then it throws in words like revenge, and you're like, wow, okay, so it's an Old American West, and there's demons. So we're gonna get cowboys, and we're gonna get demons. Like, I'm first in line. I'm sold. Like, you've already caught my attention. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased I stumbled across this. Blackjack Demon, you're 100% my hidden gem of the week. So guys, I have spoke way longer than I thought I did. I genuinely, I actually scripted this video out. I have not followed my script. I genuinely wrote it with five minutes in mind and I've just hit ten. 
which is typical for me. <laughs> so while my honourable mentions are running across the screen right now, I will bid you adieu. I will say my farewells. Please look after each other. Please take care. And most importantly, enjoy your evening.